Edmonton Oilers 5, Seattle Kraken 2. Welcome back to the day after reaction with myself, Waz. And honestly, solid team performance from the Edmonton Oilers last night. Getting five goals from five different goal scorers at 5-on-5. Five five. No power play goals. No PK goals. Just an overall solid team victory. Jack Campbell, in my opinion, played pretty well. I know he had that flub on the second Seattle Kraken goal, but honestly, when I look back at that goal, I'm thinking, well, at least it didn't, didn't come back. It didn't come at a bad time, right? The Oilers still found themselves back in the game. And the good thing about some of these goals, though, is that um, they came around the blue paint. Uh, they were, you know, the Oilers had to get in front of the Kraken's net to score. You know, Warren Fogel had to lie, lay on his butt to get the puck in the net. And I know he, he had a few scoring chances, so it was good to see him score. Um, you also had the likes of Ryan McLeod scoring. You had an own goal from Tolvin and a player that some Oilers fans wanted the Empton Oilers to claim. And, of course, we can't forget about Connor McDavid's brilliant goal in uh, to open the scoring for the Oilers. It was uh, another one of those Connor McDavid moments where you're, you're sitting there like, wow, what did I just witness? I think it was Justin Schultz who fell down. And, honestly, you can't give Connor McDavid that amount of space. His shot is looking as lethal as it could be at the NHL level. I think right now Connor McDavid's got the best toolbox in the league in terms of offensive talent. He's unpredictable. You don't know if he's going to deke you out. He d you don't know if he's just going to snap a pass your keeper goalie. <laughs> so uh, overall, just a solid team performance from the Oilers. Like I said, Derek Ryan, of course, getting a goal. Um, Ryan McLeod, Connor McDavid, uh, Zach Hyman got credit to goal, Jack Campbell with a 935 save percentage, and he's been playing really solid for the Oilers since uh, coming in relief for Stuart Skinner after Stuart Skinner had to, you know, leave. You know, congratulations to Stuart Skinner on the birth of his uh, firstborn child, Bo. So, um, it'll be interesting to see what the Oilers do tomorrow night against Tampa Bay. Will they go to Stuart Skinner? Will they stay with uh, Jack Campbell? I think that's a big question. Uh, on the back end, I thought, you know, Philip Broberg, he's been playing excellent. He had 15 minutes of ice time. Uh, Jay Woodcroft had high praise for Philip Broberg. Um, if I pull up the comments right here, he said, uh, Philip Broberg following perhaps the strongest game of his young career as he locked 14 minutes of, at even strength and was a green in the green 17 to 11 shot attempts. I have nothing but the highest esteem for Philip how he approaches his day-to-day -day process and how hard he tries to play the game. I think he's going to be a very good NHL defenseman for the next 15 years or so because he's got all the tools. He's in great shape. He's serious about his craft. I'm thankful he's on our team. So it's awesome to see Philip Broberg uh, progressing and excelling with the Empton Oilers. Um, not really much else we can say from the Oilers in that game. It was just it was nice to have that kind of like a complete team victory where you, know, you had different individuals contributing, right? Um, so shout out to the Oilers, shout out to Jack Campbell, and uh, thank you for tuning into the day after reaction. Don't forget to head to OilersNation.com for more. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.